I'm Kat Falls, and I'm the author of Dark Life. I have three children, and my oldest son, when he was 11, was an avid reader, and he had three subjects he loved to read about most. And one was the ocean, and he loved nonfiction books about sharks and dolphins and anything in the ocean. And he loved stories about pioneer kids, uh, any kid that had to go hunt for dinner with a giant rifle, so Little House on the Prairie and Old Yeller. And then his third thing he loved to read about was the X-Men a little obsessed with it. So for a writing exercise, I thought I would take all three of his interests and combine them and see if I could come up with a story. And when I sat down with the ocean, pioneer kids, and superpowers of some kind, it just came to me all at once. And I thought, I'll make this a middle grade book, because I had always written screenplays before. And I'm really glad I did. I didn't. I originally wrote it in third person and had much more of a narrator's voice, but then when I flipped it into first person, I really had to get into the head of a 15-year-old boy, and I found I was doing Travis from Old Yeller, this old, I don't know when it was shot, maybe the 60s, Disney film that has this pioneer kid, and I really wanted his voice because it had the ma and pa inflection of a pioneer kid, but also He's a tough kid, and he chases off bears and rabid wolves, and I wanted that feel of a kid ready for anything, always very alert. That's hard. I hadn't really thought of it. I think I'd like to be able to move objects, if I can have any dark gift. I'm trying to model the dark gifts in the book off of attributes of marine creatures, but there are other cool things I'd like to be able to do, become invisible, but I think telekinesis would be my dark gift. Other than the language, the actual wordsmithing, I wrote this very much like a screenplay. I wanted it to be as visual as possible so that anyone reading it could see the underworld and the subsea world and see the homesteads. And I also love big action scenes. I love them in movies and I love them in books, so I wrote big visual action scenes. And I tried to keep it, the writing's pretty spare because when you're trying to write a big action scene, it has to move fast as you read it as well as the action within the scene. And you can move down a page much faster if the writing is spare and has lots of white space. So it's written a lot like a screenplay. Uh, truly what's on my mind is this hardback cover, because this is the first time I've seen it. They just handed this to me five minutes ago, and I squealed like a three-year-old, and it's shiny, and I love this jellyfish. I think Chris, who's the illustrator who came up with it, is a genius, because he's eerie and cool and ominous and just instantly says ocean to me. And I love the back, too. I love the things it says, behold the deep, beware the deep, and the bubbles. It's very cool.